Hi, Rainbow Resource Center is a homeschooling network company, a shipping school supplies and other items to homeschool and learning centers across North America. Their orders have increased so dramatically over the years that they had looked to the Numina Group to do an engineering design study to look over their and evaluate their order fulfillment processes all the way from picking, packing, and shipping. I'm going to walk you through some of those processes that we implemented for the Rainbow Resource. What we're seeing here right now is a box on demand uh, process. So corrugated uh, flat material is being fed through the machine and what we're doing is building um, an order on demand with the right size carton uh, based uh, on the order itself, the SKUs that are going to go into that carton itself. So what RDS, uh, Numina RDS is doing, we're doing cartonization. So what we're doing is virtually building the order ahead of time. So we're taking the SKUs, the weights and the sizes of those SKUs, and we're building that order right directly to the carton itself. So as you can see, each carton and each order is going to be a little different in size. And then what we're doing is basically uh, building shippable containers where we're going to be able to pick directly into that, that carton. So we're going to be able to scan, um, verify, and pack that order out on, a, on a, a cart where we can go batch pick, like SKUs, across multiple uh, orders and cartons. Uh, so we may be going to one location and picking five of the same items going across 16 or 12 different orders. So this is our cart build uh, RDS cartonization module. In the past, what they used to do is they would, uh, Rainbow would go out and pick items and uh, pick to a tote. And then they would have to take those items, place them down on the conveyor, do a dimension of those items, and uh, build the carton on demand at that point. The problem is, is that this machine only can do about seven or eight a minute. So RDS decoupled that process, and now we can build multiple carts, as you can see over here, ahead of time before the pickers even get in here, eliminating all that, that, that bottleneck that you would get at the packout area. After the process of um, building the, the cartons on demand and the cart build process, what we do is we basically stage all the carts uh, in an area for the pickers to come in and do the picking, right? So as you can see here, we did the cartonization and a cart build that you saw in the previous process. And you can see they're all scanned, the cartons and the orders are all scanned to individual locations. So what we can do now with this is that we can have the pickers all come in now at a different time a little later after we build all these. We decoupled that process of, of building the cartons on demand at the outbound area and, di and did the building uh, ahead of time to cart itself. And now all these are all uh, in an optimized cart build where we can have the picker go out in an optimized pick path to do batch picking where we're going to do a scan and verify directly into the shippable container using RDS uh, uh, voice direct picking or RDS mobility or our new uh, RDS victory voice. And what that does is basically eliminate all paper uh, picking and uh, gives the operator the ability to be directed to the exact location where we can do the, the optimized batch pick across multiple orders, multiple cartons, including uh, up to 12 to 16 different ones, as you can see here. So now what, all we're waiting for right now is the pickers to come up and start the picking process. Hi, we're out in the uh, DC uh, following a picker, uh, utilizing Numina's RDS uh, Mobility RDS Victory Voice. As you can see, we're directing the picker to the, uh, the actual location, utilizing voice, and also she has a, uh, a visual on her wrist that'll um, uh, give reinforcement that she's picking the right item. If, her, if there's any confusion at all, there's actual uh, ability to show a picture of that item uh, to make sure that the right item is being picked to, that, um, to, the, to the shippable. 
As you can see, we have a batch pick uh, card here where she can go ahead and batch pick multiple items from the location across multiple orders and cartons on that cart. So the, the beauty of this is the uh, RDS has eliminated all paper picking and give the ability of the picker to um, pick in a more optimized, efficient uh, manner. The picking process has been completed. As you can see, the picker came up with her cart and she's unloading the, the, the f finished pick cartons uh, directly onto the conveyor itself. As you watch the process, what's happening now is the, the cartons will get inducted onto the conveyor, they go around, and here what we're doing is we're scanning, weighing, and doing a visual uh, picture of the contents in the carton itself. At the same time, what we do is we do an, a weight audit, and as everything passes fine, what happens is the carton goes directly either to pack out station number one or pack out station number two, where the, uh, an operator will void fill, uh, place the carton through an automatic taper, and then we'll do a scan, weigh, dimension, and automatic print apply of the ship label directly to the carton, and then we'll do a sort of that carton to the parcel carrier itself. So as you can see, the cartons have already been scanned, weighed, audited already, and now they're coming out to the pack out area. So what we're doing here is directing the, pit, the, the packer using RDS uh, packs, uh, pack station screens to tell them uh, what items to put in the, the carton, if it needs a pack slip or if it doesn't and uh, he's putting void fill in. And what we're doing here is we're scanning ahead of time. That way, as you can see, there's no hand scanning, no manual processes at all. So we automatically print that pack slip, so it's pack slip present to the operator. He void fills, and then he puts it through a semi-automated taper where we go ahead and do a scan, weigh, dimension, automatic print apply of the ship label, and then sort uh, to the different parcel carriers. We're at the auto print and apply. As you can see, we're doing a scan, weigh, and dimension of, uh, of the carton itself. We send that data up to uh, a manifesting company. In this case, it's Descott Shipper. They come back to Numina with a ship label for us to automatically apply. As you can see, the boxes are all being scanned, weighed, print applied, and they forward to the automatic print apply machine where we're automatically applying the ship label to the carton. We actually do a scan verification of that to make sure that we did all those, all, all those things correct. And then after that, we transport the carton and then sort it to the exact parcel location where it has to go. Now what's really important is uh, RDS is a full-fledged WES, a warehouse execution system. That means we're um, controlling and managing all those mundane tasks that are out on uh, a DC uh, operation on the DC floor. On top of that, what we do is we provide diagnostics for the operation itself. As you can see in the screen here, this is one of the uh, areas where we're looking at the pickers themselves on a real-time basis. And you can see uh, what each individual picker is doing at any given time directly in your office, out on the floor, and uh, it shows you what, what rate they're, they're picking at based off of uh, standard. And you can see if you're in the green here, you're doing okay, and little yellow, they may need to do a little bit more improvement. But uh, on top of that, all processes are um, managed, controlled, and displayed for your operators and for anybody in the uh, uh, management. So at any given time, you can look at uh, productivity, you can look at carton or order history, uh, you can see when the orders were uh, downloaded to us, when they were released, when they were picked, and when they were packed out. And again, you see some that where we may hold them because we're doing an optimization of when to do the picking. 
Uh, also, it's all touch screen, so at any given time, uh, you just touch the screen itself. You can see the diagnostics of the conveyor itself. Now watch and track the order of uh, that individual carton, and you can see it going from zone to zone. And then basically find out when it, it gets sorted and what lane it got sorted to. So really, these are all powerful tools that enable you uh, as, a, a, as a, a customer to manage your uh, total order fulfillment process. We're at the uh, consolidation wall where we're picking smaller items, uh, batch picking smaller items that are gonna get broken apart into individual uh, orders. <clears throat> so in the past, what used to happen is they used to pick by order itself. So you would have all these multiple uh, items that they would have to go throughout the, the whole warehouse, pick the items by order, either for singles and multis, uh, multi-line orders. In this case, what we can do is we can go and pick all those multi-line orders in a batch process into a tote and then bring them to a consolidation wall like this and break apart the, the orders using a scanner. So the location has a barcode and a light on it, which directs the picker to uh, put the items to a location. And when the light lights up to a, a white color like this, this is telling the operator, hey, that order is done. And now that order can be pulled out of the cubby hole and moved to uh, the next process, which is the priority pack, where it's automatically uh, um, put into a envelope, a flat envelope, uh, automa automatically made on demand, similar to the uh, pack size process. This is the priority pack uh, area. And what we're doing here is these are single line items that were picked as what we call speed pick. So you pick multiple uh, single line items into a tote, uh, not caring you know, what SKUs they are or not, because they're all single line orders. And we bring that you know, as a speed pick to the priority pack. In this case here, these are multi-line orders and there's multiple SKUs in each tote. We already printed the pack slip to go with that order. And this came from the consolidation put wall. Um, we're gonna walk you through both of these processes right now and uh, show you the differences. So in this case, the operator grabs a single line order, he scans it, and then we automatically print the pack slip. He puts it into the sealed air machine, presses the button, and then what we do is we're gonna do a print and apply of the ship label right to the corrugated material. And what happens is the corrugated material and the item will travel at the same time together and then go through the machine, forming that flat envelope um, for shipping either single line small items or single line uh, or multi-line um, multiple orders. And as you can see, it comes out and gets uh, just turned in and you can see how flat envelope that is with the ship label on there. Uh, so there's, there's a few different benefits of the system here. It's like what happens is that when we can go out and do a speed pick, they used to have to go out and individually pick by order. So in this case here, now we can send out a, an operator, pick multiple singles, and then run them through the system. And the same thing with this. These used to be picked by order also. These are the multi-line orders. And again, we went through the process of the consolidation put wall and uh, made this process so much more efficient. And the reason they use this type of uh, uh, machine is that they can ship a flat item again um, you know, through the priority pack for a low, lower parcel uh, rate. Newman Group is all about uh, providing our customers with the most efficient and profitable processes for our customers. We're here at the end of the ship line here, and as you can see, things have already been um, print applied, labeled, and now being sorted. 
directly to uh, the parcel carriers. In this case, this is all UPS type uh, shipments and basically waiting for the UPS truck to show up. Contact the Newman Group and let us help you become more efficient in your pick, pack, and ship order fulfillment processes.